Thank you for letting me special feature today. My name is Mr. Lightwork. I am the Divine Masculine of the channel. Fiber Grace will be back with your regularly scheduled program after this reading. So, thank you for letting me be here and read for you. Special feature. Coming in to give you the Divine Masculine perspective. If you're not already a member of the channels, subscribe, like the video. And I appreciate you being here. Ready to pick up the message. Okay. Just recorded some brand new exclusives. Make sure you go to MrLightWork.com and check them out. Information is abounding. There's a brand new Divine Masculine Channel Love Letter. An oh my goodness. Oh, oh, that's all I can say. You'll know what I mean if you've already watched it or if you're about to watch it, you'll know what's up. All right, let's go here. Too. all right cool beans so to my left is divine feminine to your left is divine feminine energies and then to the right is the divine masculine energies so let us see what we need to see of course here we are led by the spirit of truth thank you in advance here we go oh divine feminine that's lovely oh that's beautiful Oh, you're in there. In there like swimwear. This is where life is starting to feel magical again. This is where you're starting to change perspective. And things are starting to be viewed as opportunities and blessings. And, and lessons. This is where we're starting to see the positive of the situation. This is where our lives are starting to become more positive more bright we're starting to find the joy again of course there are times where thoughts intrude but it's much easier now to get back to center it's much quicker that we are remaining poised and getting back to our power position hats off to you divine feminine way to go ace of cups there okay so what we got in the Divine Masculine side then? <sighs> All right. Okay. And this is where we start to see the twin flame effect. When we're talking about mirrors, but we're not exactly the same, that we're equal and opposite. Here is no better illustrated than right here, right now with the Ace of Cups and the devil energy in the Divine Masculine's. They're struggling, all right? They're struggling. And they're struggling because they are not choosing to do something more, do life better. They're not making any changes. They're just doing the same thing over and over and over again. They're expecting life to fold to their wants and their whims, but they are not putting in any real work. They're not, this Divine Masculine is spending all their time effing off. They're spending all their time self-consumed. They're just, the, what they're taking in is garbage. They're not, it's almost like, it's almost like they're, there's a loss of life in them. They're still walking around. They're still talking and breathing and stuff. But there's a there's a sense of loss of life in them. It's almost like they're giving up. This is tough. This is tough. 
But I want you to know that I remember when I was in this position. And I want you to have faith because you're listening to somebody that is currently in union with their divine feminine. So I remember this phase. And I also am listening. You're talking to you right now in union. So I'm saying that there is hope for your person. And you just have to hold that hope. And you got to believe in them. And you got to trust in them that they can get it done. Because without that support, without that energy behind them, backing them, they're not going to be able to believe in themselves. These people have been have been traumatized. These people have been talking crap about themselves since they could formulate words. All right. Because a lot of them have been dealing with that from their family. OK, so this person internalized that and still has yet to shake that off. They are still under bondage of the negative energy. The devil is using them to manipulate the world around them and the people in their lives to waste time with them. Okay? They are a distraction in this energy right now. They're they're a distraction to themselves. They're a distraction. They can't they can't see the way forward and because they can't see a way forward they assume that there is no way forward and therefore give up it's if they have a lack of imagination if it's if it's not concrete in front of them they're not in and that's what's been that's what's been taking a toll on them that's what's been working on them it's lack of vision it's trying to keep them quiet. It's trying to keep them stuck. It's trying to keep them trapped. And with this being the first card that came out, it seems to me like some of them are folding. A majority of them are folding because that's the way it goes. There are so many responsibilities and so much output required to be a divine masculine and be in this journey the right way that this is going to be a lot of divine masculines until they make a different decision until they start to utilize that inspiration and impact that they got from you y'all should be on the same page right now they should be in this ace of cups energy with you but they're not why? Because they're choosing a more difficult path. They're choosing a path of self rather than uh, everybody else. They're choosing, they're putting themselves first. That's their problem. And it's their problem because they're doing it in a negative way. Matter of fact, if, if the divine feminine would take a page or two out of the divine masculine book this ace of cups energy would last so much longer because they do self-love to an unhealthy degree and the divine feminine normally lacks in the area of self-love to an unhealthy degree so here we have again twin flames showing us their the need for balance the need for each individual to learn from the other and if that is not made possible right now because of physical separation there are aspects there are events and scenarios in life that are unfolding which would allow you to prepare and learn for each other okay let's see what else we got Oh, yeah. The perspective card. Now, you know what? <laughs> Didn't we talk about this perspective shifting here? There is a paradigm shift that has occurred in the divine feminine that is giving off an energy of, of confidence, of superiority. Not to the divine masculine, but to their prior selves. And it's doing wonders for the divine feminine energy. I am, I'm getting chills as I'm talking about it because this right here is what we expected to feel 
when this person got their act together. But lo and behold, they are still getting their act together, but yet we are still able to feel an, an, a feeling of elation, a feeling of, of joy. We're, we're, we're excited again. We're happy again. And it's due to looking for the opportunity and blessings to be happy rather than looking for this person and catching them in this energy and then that affecting us. The perspective has shifted. The Divine Feminine has realized that when we go over to this energy, even though we per presume that it will be enjoyable, that nine times out of ten, we get left in an energy that we would prefer not to be in. And so the perspective has shifted that says, I understand what I want. I understand what happens when I when I pursue what I want and I don't like the result so therefore in order for me not to get that result I gotta not go over here in the first place and when we st when we stop going over here looking for stuff all of a sudden the stuff that we were looking for over here comes in many different forms in our life and that's why the perspective is so necessary to shift. And congratulations. Congratulations. If your perspective is shifted, put put a nerd face with the glasses. <laughs> yeah, because we see seeing stuff differently now. We got a different pair of spectacles and lenses on. All right. Awesome. Now let's see what we got over yonder. Hey, now. Hey. All right. Okay. We You know what's wild to me? This right here, this perspective card is embodied in this judgment card over here for the divine masculine energy and the reason is because if the divine masculine does what they're supposed to do and engages and connects to divine we're going to we're going to see a whole different character. We're going to see a a whole different perspective and a completely different shift in this individual. This judgment card is important because when your person stops viewing the world the way that they do they will shift with their view with their perspective shift they will also shift and they act the way they act and have acted the way they have acted because they were under the influence of this negative energy of this devil demonic energy of this Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde type energy that's why they're always in and out. That's why they're all put you on this merry-go-round kind of energy. They're dealing with them has become like an unwanted cycle. It's unenjoyable. But we're still holding out hope that they're going to turn it around. Because it's possible. It is possible. I remember making this shift. And it came from no longer wanting to be in this energy no longer it was i started to seek this because my life wasn't giving me the results i wanted i wasn't satisfied internally i was still i felt parched if that makes sense i felt empty on the inside and so as a result I tried to fill in that gap with every kind of anything that would increase the levels of dopamine and serotonin, which are our pleasure uh, hormones. I did that to fill the emptiness that I felt inside. When I made this shift to connecting to divine, which is the only difference between 
me in my current state and me in my previous state is a decision to connect and stay connected to divine. That's what makes me a divine masculine, an effort being put forth to follow in the footsteps of divine. Some people before I wasn't like that. I didn't choose that before. Partially because I was unaware, partially because I was rebelling against having to do things the right way. Nobody tells me what to do, how to act, when to do, what to do, how I do, what I do. Nobody tells me anything. But with that came a whole slew of of corpses in my wake and their spiritual energetic corpses in my wake because I wasn't able to to make relationships last i wasn't because again i was empty that was dark inside but what changed me and what's going to change your person is exactly what you see here is exact is exactly what you see here and not to mention in the lover's card the same trifecta happens matter of fact in the same one here too the trifecta happens where the divine feminine you see oh man i wish i had the lover's card to show you right now but the setup is the same here boom 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 right notice that in the divine feminine energy it matters what the divine feminine does Notice when the divine feminine is receiving the blessings. Oh, yes. Look at. Oh, oh thank you, divine, for me allowing this message to be so beautiful. Look at this. Look at the divine feminine in this card has her hands out. Pretend she got a cup in there receiving from divine. And notice as a result, what's happening is the divine masculine's perspective is also shifting perspective card. Hello, somebody like that button. The perspective of the divine masculine shifts as the perspective of the divine feminine shifts. Okay? We'll need to see change in 3D to make sure that this change is being made all the way through. Okay, you'll feel that in the energy. But I want you to notice that where the divine feminine energy focuses, there focuses the divine masculine. Okay? When divine feminine focuses on the divine masculine, the divine masculine is not focused where they need to be. When the divine feminine is focused on divine, the divine masculine finds their way to divine. They might show up late to the party, but they're going to get there. They're going to get there. And it's a matter of you putting that energy of belief behind them as as like a like a like a like a love tap, like a love push, like you're supporting them energetically. That's the kind of, of energy that you give off. When and if you think about this scenario, do not let the devil get you and have you thinking anything sideways about your person, about your journey. Because if you do, you are fueling the fire of whatever the devil has planned. Okay? Don't give... The negative energy, the adversary, the opponent, any foot room in your energy. It's been shifting. Keep it shifting. Keep closing them out. Put the energy forward that you, that we keep, what's the saying? Be the change that you want to see in the world. Why? That's not, that is not limited to anything. Be the change that you want to see in the world. You want your person to be connected? You get connected. You want your person to get right? You get right. You see, you see it feels better to get right. You see it. You feel you feel liberated. It feels wonderful. What feels amazing. All right, let's see here. Oh, the page of pentacles. Okay. Again, the perspective change. We're looking at this thing as as when as it's precious again okay we are regaining our vitality for the twin flame journey and it is occurring because of the distance that we are putting between us and them allowing them the reason we're putting distance and we're doing it as it's almost like a byproduct of doing for yourself 
you put distance between them. But I don't want you to think of that as the bad thing because the reason that they were, you're creating distance is so that they have the space that they need to operate. A lot of times when the divine masculine is not making the changes that we think they're we're supposed they're supposed to make it's because we are it's like we're a helicopter parent over them it's we're trying to figure out if they're doing it when they're doing it we're checking in everywhere we can trying to get as much information and resources to to pry into their lives to figure out what are they doing are they doing what they're supposed to do how much longer until we get together that has been proven to be exhausting and this shift is a much, much better approach. This is reinviting fun back into the journey. Okay, this is accepting that things may or may not turn out the way you want, but things will definitely turn out the way divine wants. And luckily for you, divine knows that you're, wants you, divine, give the three truths. You're a divine feminine, you have a divine masculine, and y'all gonna be together. These are the divine three truths. So luckily for you, if it doesn't work out the way you want, you still going to get your person because that's what divine wants. So do what's been working. Self-love, which creates space for them to make the changes necessary to get on your level straight up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see, they are taking note of your energy. They're taking note of your energy. Okay. There's still a need for them to work out the kinks and to, to iron things out, but they are definitely being have been influenced by you. And they're, they're feeling your energy. They're seeing how you move. All right. A lot of you are probably like, how are they seeing that? Well, some of them stalk you on the Internet. Let's just be real. Some of them stalk you in real life, but you just don't know. So some of them do. You, they are just as interested in you as you are in them. They're just so damn contrary. Oh, my God goodness they are so contrary they'll do everything they can to hide it and to prove you wrong if you call them out on the fact that they have feelings for you they'll go out of their way to prove you wrong but they're going against what they truly feel because what emotional immaturity still 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 being worked on though okay don't give up they are in you're undermining the devil's work in them oh hello yes you are undermining the devil's work in them okay keep doing what you're doing it's working it's working it's working for you it will work for them it will work for them it's been working for you keep it up the sun the sun will come out tomorrow and the sun's been out because we have been doing the right things we've been looking at things the right way we've been thinking about things the right way everything has been shifting upwards forwards positively man divine feminine at this point i need you to put like clap hands in the chat section for yourself because you're doing a tremendous job you understand what I'm saying? Now, if you're one of those divine feminists, like, Ugh, he's kind of talking about me, but I know I could be doing better. You see the praises that are being given for doing the right thing. If you want these praises too, and if you want to feel confident, do the, what you know you're supposed to do. Change the perspective. Understand that this situation is being worked on, not by your attention being paid to it, but by divine's timing. Okay? Okay. That will alleviate a lot of the questions. Repeat the divine three truths to yourself. That'll alleviate all of the worry. I'm a divine feminine. I have a divine masculine. We're going to be together. 
we gonna be together. That's all I need to focus on. We gonna be together. I don't need to figure out how. Divine didn't tell me how. Divine won't let me know how through all of these different avenues that I'm trying to acquire the information. I still can't figure out exactly when. I can't, how, I don't, you don't need to know none of that. If you did need to know, Divine would tell you directly, but you don't need to know. If so, Divine would tell you, but you don't need to know. So refer to your Divine Three Truths. I'm a Divine Feminine. I have a Divine Masculine. We're going to be together. Because that energy brings out the sun in your life. Look at this. Look at this. This Knight of Wands is eager to get to this High Priestess energy. Huh? I said that on purpose. The Knight of Wands is eager to get to the High Priestess energy. The Knight of Wands makes their way to the High Priestess. And in that journey, they become evolved because they are journeying to their, their Priestess, their Queen. So they'll evolve into the King through the journey taking them to you. Because in order to get to you, they have to give off king energy they got to give off divine energy because you are a divine feminine okay divine feminines attract divine masculines period period oh yeah the ten of cups baby <sighs> the ten of cups baby baby look at this look at this oh uh, Oh, uh, you see these three? And you you know where I'm pointing next. Uh-huh. Boom, boom, boom. You see those three, too? Yeah, boom. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, hit me up. Hit me up. Do your thing. Do your thing. All right. Man. You're on the right track, Divine Feminine. You are on the right track. Keep going. Keep going. Keep doing what you've been doing. Okay. And again, if you know, if you're feeling a bit guilty, knowing that what you've been doing ain't the right thing, you can make that change today. Look, change of perspective. You can make that happen today to start to see things the right way so that your life can become brighter. OK, you can start to enjoy this journey again. Let's get back to it. Let's get to it. Job well done, Divine Feminine. Keep up the good work. Don't stop and look around wondering what the fruits of your labor are. Just grind. And then when you get tired of grinding, bask in your efforts. And then get back to the grind. But do not pick your nose up from that grindstone to look around and say, where's this person at? On the way. If they're not next to you, they're on the way. Because divine says, I'm a divine feminine, I have a divine masculine, and we're going to be together. So if they're not next to me, if we're already not together, they're on the way to me, I'm on, I'm on the way to them. And I got to keep doing the right thing so that I can be who I need to be so that they can become who they need to become. Hello, somebody. And here we go. Here we go. Final message is that they're going to be putting in that work. Why? Your inspiration breaking them free from the clutches of bondage breaking them free from their old selves this dark night of the soul energy getting getting out of that i'm telling you you're undermining the devil's work and you're not even paying attention to this and you're not supposed to that's why it's working you are inadvertently messing up the devil's plans on your person by tending to yourself which is counter to what you will hear in this twin flame universe they'll tell you to focus over there to meditate to listen to this so you divine mass going to come back listen to that meditate on but self-love caring for self and then caring for uh, others in our immediate vicinity this is this is proven to be the most beneficial to us and our lives and our outlook and our future and it's important that that doesn't go unnoticed because if it does now we're doomed to repeat that same cycle that we don't ever want to be on again so again i'm gonna close this message out by saying you've been doing a tremendous job divine feminine and whether it looks like it or not in 3d your energetic work has a payout and it is 
it is having the correct effect your correct work has correct effect so continue to do your correct work i'm proud of you thank you for letting me speak thank you for letting me read hope you're picking up what i'm putting down i appreciate you and hope this reading is everything you wanted more importantly i hope it's everything you needed and i'll see y'all guys uh next week all right you know what i might be back tomorrow yeah i'll be back tomorrow on monday but after that sunday and mondays are mine and then the rest are for fiery grace thank y'all for letting me special feature i'm gonna drop with this one manana i love y'all peace